guys, it's Flaw Gothic. You may remember that back in January, I discussed Yandere Simulator and all the problems I had with one of Yandere Dev's January videos. Some of you commented on it. I mean, some of you accepted my criticism of the game. Some of you gave me constructive feedback and some of you did not. So, I decided to do another video, kind of a follow-up video on what I did back then, clarifying on some of the points I made in the other video. Now, if you haven't watched the um, previous video before, some of this might be confusing, so I'll leave a link down below. Check it out, then come back here. Enjoy pink hair, Julia. Yay! Clarification one. I believe I implied in my earlier video that my main problem with Yandere Simulator and Yandere Dev was the way the game was being developed. Well, that is a problem I have with the game, but not my major, not the major problem, not the one I despise the most. My main problem with Yandere Simulator is, well, Yandere Dev. He's kind of a dick. Yeah, he, he does some nice things every now and then, but... He has done so many terrible things in the past, including stealing assets, being accused of pedophilia, and he also doesn't take criticism very well. And he kind of admitted it. More on that in a later clarification. Clarification 2. Just because Andre Deb is trying to make Osana perfect doesn't mean that he should hide her completely. I feel like... I imply that like one of the things I was really pissed about was that he refused to release Osana just because she wasn't ready. That wasn't really the reason why I was pissed. Ever since I started following the game's development, I was confused as to why Yandere Dev just didn't use Osana as the method for testing elimination methods and instead just used Kokona. I mean, it made no sense, especially when it was revealed that Kokona wouldn't be one of the um, main rivals. Just because Osana's incomplete, though, doesn't mean that she should be hidden. I mean, I understand why she was hidden. You shouldn't. You didn't want to reveal her backstory, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't have hidden all of Osana. You could have just got her model and just put in some placeholder audio. The script hasn't been 100% finalized. You could have used placeholder audio. Clarification three. The only problem with the game is the way Andre Dev is developing it. Not true at all. Remember that I said that Andre Dev probably can't take criticism well. In the video where he explains why Andre Chan doesn't have any emotions, he explicitly states that the main reason why he changed Andre Chan's personality into a blank slate was because people were criticizing him for it. And geez, man, criticism is just something you get. It's just something you have to stomach. Besides, there are plenty of really good Yandere characters out there that you could have taken some inspiration from. Like you know from Future Diary. She has a she had a pretty depressing backstory. Her parents desperately wanted her to be perfect and even locked her in a cage so she wouldn't have any influence on the outside world. Her senpai, per se, gave her a reason to live. And there are other Yandere characters who are normal girls until they fell madly in love. My main point here is that just because you receive criticism doesn't mean you should just give up and make your character a blank slate. Take, t just go ahead, take inspiration from other sources. You've you've already admitted that you've taken inspiration from Hitman. Well, that's all I have to say. I guess this was kind of just a ramble, but I, I just felt like I needed to say something. Bye. See y'all next time.